What is good credit people and welcome back to the channel It's your boy Bob Lam Knocking out every Rich the Mid and WNBA Youngboy fan Cause nobody's safe after Nate Robinson got knocked out last night I'ma have y'all all looking at the, the canvas Sleeping on the ground like a tempur mattress Cause I swear to god your collab tape nobody's safe Flopped harder than a sperm whale's wiener When they sold it at the Wuhan market okay So without further ado nobody's safe Rich the Kid and NBA Young Boys collab tape flopped. Let's talk about it. Okay, so as you may or may not know, Rich the Kid and NBA Young Boy sold a collab tape a couple weeks ago on November 13th, actually called Nobody Safe. And throughout the whole week, it was projected to sell 21K first week, which is already embarrassing given the metrics of NBA Young Boy's previous history of his first week sales on his album Solo. And then it actually ended up selling less than that at 19K. So if you ask me, just in all conclusion of this video, if you want to click off right about now they flopped there's no question about it at least nba young boy did or w nba young boy whereas on the other hand it was kind of a w for rich the kid for rich the kid's last album boss man that he uh released earlier this year in march on the same day as lil uzi vert with lil uzi vert versus the world 2 aka eternal take deluxe he sold 18k so 20k or 19k i mean is actually more than he would sell solo so nba young boy really put on for the dude and helped rich the kid make some money although rich the mid is only getting half of the profit or whatever they the deal split was if i was a wmba young boy i'd be wanting a, a a heftier contract than rich the mid for carrying the hell out of those sales but before the collab tape actually released rich and young boy were thought to have pushed back the release date from the 6th november 6th that is to november 13th after uzi and future were rumored to release their collab tape pluto baby pluto and as we all know if you're an uzi fan Uzi and Rich the Kid actually have a past history of beef. Now, they might be cool now because Rich the Kid, one of the producers that signed to his label, Rich Forever, actually worked on Pluto Baby Pluto on one of the songs. I believe it was called Plastic. As well as the fact that no one really stepped on each other's toes with the release date in the competition of both of the collab tapes. Pluto Baby Pluto versus nobody's safe so that's one step in the right direction if you ask me and the reason i bring that up is because i actually think that rich the kid and uzi fans are all good right now it was actually the young boy stands that have been coming at uzi fans thinking they hot shit right now because nba young boy apparently holds the record or actually held the record for the most solo singles slash songs released in one year with like 50 plus but if you ask me that ain't even that ain't even hard i could pump air into a hamster and make it queef 60 times a year and upload it on disc Distro Kid and take WNBA Youngboy's record right away. And not only that, there was like a huge debate on Twitter for the past couple of weeks over who is more goaded, Uzi or Youngboy, after Youngboy also held the record for most streams in 2020, because again, he released the most songs, so of course he's going to get the most surges in views. Now, before I get into the analysis, low-key, honestly, both Uzi and Youngboy are goaded because they both have very dedicated fan bases, but Uzi, you know, on a per song basis, absolutely demolishes WNBA Youngboy. I mean, the only reason Youngboy held the title before Uzi and Future dropped, because that's when Uzi took back the title, because 10 songs on their collab tape, like the original one, were charting on the Hot 100 Billboard, and they ended up selling 106k first week, which is more than 5 times the amount nobody saved with Rich the Kid and WNBA Youngboy sold. And the only reason Youngboy was holding so many streams in 2020, and actually he'll probably end up doing the same thing in 2021 one is because I swear to God, Youngboy and fans all jailbroke their PS4s to stream his music on like 4x speed on repeat while they smoke crack in their mom's bathroom. And I'm not hating because I do the same shit with my PC, except I'd be smoking that Nate Robinson pack and garlic to keep all the vampires away while Playboy Cardi gets ready to drop a whole lot of red. And I just want to make it clear, like obviously I'm just trolling and I actually do not have any hate towards Rich the Mid or Youngboy, but EA sold more than both of Youngboy's recent solo tapes first week i mean eternal take almost sold 300k nba young boy fans were getting all cocky after young boy sold like 120k with his last album top saying no promo well uzi didn't really have promo either i don't think any of these big time artists are using that much promotion because they don't need to pay these media outlets to post them because they're that relevant and it'll get like the media outlets clicks and earn them money and likes and engagement on instagram and all that so i don't want to hear that argument any longer plus 
until I return the solo tape that NBA Youngboy dropped the week before the collab tape with Rich the Kid Nobody Saved. That only ended up selling 29k and that was solo. And again, I know y'all are gonna say that he dropped it on YouTube like two days before it was out on all DSPs, but I didn't create the rules here. NBA Youngboy gotta be smarter with his drops so he doesn't get judged by the whole hip hop fan base. But all in all, I'd just like to say NBA Youngboy and Rich the Kid flopped. No question about it. I don't want to hear any more NBA Youngboy fans coming at Uzi saying this and that when I'm literally getting YouTube ads on all of my videos that I watch for bankroll with Rich the Kid and NBA Youngboy. And everybody was calling out 6 9 for doing that shit, claiming it's all fake views. Not to mention the fact that that is the quite literal definition of promotion because Rich the Kid and NBA Youngboy are paying for these video advertisements on YouTube contradicting all of the no promotion claims all y'all saying every day. So Uzi over Youngboy, sorry about it. Not sorry, actually. I guess there's just a reason that Youngboy's name is Youngboy because he's still playing in JV not with the big dogs like Uzi. Actually, last thing before I go, I know it was a little bit unfair because the Uzi Future duo is a little bit higher tier than NBA Youngboy and Rich the Kid because NBA Youngboy is kind of with Uzi and Future on like the higher first week sales, whereas, you know, he had to carry Rich the Kid as we talked about a little bit before. So I think in the future, if we really want to do this Uzi NBA Youngboy competition, like all the fans from each side is trying to do, they should just drop an album on the same day solo, same amount of promotion they can promote, I don't really care, or no promo like Uzi and NBA Youngboy honestly never do anyway. They don't even post on social media actually, except for Uzi, he tweets a lot, not gonna lie. But that's organic though, that's not really that much of paid promotion like the bankroll ads that I was just talking about. But let's see who actually sells more first week and who has the better and bigger fan base because Eternal Take, I realized that we were waiting for that for three years, so that's a little bit unfair fair to compare that 300k sales over three years to NBA Youngboy's top where he dropped an album probably like less than a month before that given how frequently he drops. It's only fair and I'm down. So Uzi if you listen to this, let's drop that Love Is Rage 3 album that's coming next theoretically on the same day as NBA Youngboy to settle this once and for all. So with that it's your boy Bob Lamb signing off flopping this big long salmon filet on my plate because that's what I'm cooking for dinner later. Let me know in the comments if you think NBA Youngboy and Rich the Mid flopped on Nobody Safe with 19K first week sales as opposed to Lil Uzi Vert and Future's Pluto Baby Pluto selling 106K first week in which tape y'all thought was better. Make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it for the latest hip hop news, drama, and analysis videos as well as to follow me on all my socials in the description. Join the Bob Gang if you with it. Peace out, cut it people. No saying.